What's going on, everybody? And I hope you're enjoying your Monday morning so far. This is MYG Jeffy T85 here, and I'm here with the BKN game recap for last night's game against the Orlando Magic. And by all the good fortune that the Brooklyn Nets were building up after the huge win they had against Miami, it all went by the wayside after last night's game against Orlando. As the Nets pretty much, it's like they forgot how to shoot again. It's like they forgot how to play defense again. Orlando was getting wide open shots all over the place. The Nets were breaking three-point shots left and right. And the Nets end up losing this game last night by the final score of 119-106. to And let's just be honest, it wasn't even that close. The Nets didn't do anything right last night. They didn't do a single thing right last night. The Nets pretty much shot a dismal 23% from the three-point line. And they only shot 41% from the court overall. Their assist numbers were way down. They only had 17 on the game. They committed 15 turnovers, which was nine more than they committed all last game against Miami. They committed 20 personal fouls, <laughs> and they had 44 rebounds, which actually they got out-rebounded in the rebounding department for the first time in at least three or four games. And let's just be honest, only two players had a major impact in terms of the offensive game all night. And that was Michael Bridges, who Bridges actually shot pretty well from the field. He shot 13 of 22, 6 of 9 from the three-point line. He had 44 points, 6 rebounds, an assist, a steal, and a block. He was 12 for 12 from the free-throw line, and he played in 34 minutes. Bridges had a phenomenal game. Bridges was mainly the biggest part of this offense. And then Cam Thomas... Little known and little used Cam Thomas. And the only reason why Cam Thomas was even playing is because of injuries to Royce O'Neal, who is out with left knee soreness. Edmund Sumner, who is out because of a hip injury. Ben Simmons, obviously we know his season is most likely over. And Seth Curry, who was out due to personal reasons. That's the only reason why Cam Thomas was even used last night. And he scored 18 points in 28 minutes off the bench, including two assists, two rebounds, and he was 7 of 16 from the court. Otherwise that, the Nets had only one other player that went into double figures, and that was Cam Johnson, but he had a horrendous shooting night. <clears throat> he only shot 1 for 5 from the three-point line, 4 for 10 from the field in 26 minutes, three, three rebounds, one block shot, and 10 points. Nick uh, Spencer Dinwiddie had easily his worst game as a Brooklyn Net. When the game against Miami, he had one of his best games as a Brooklyn Net. Spencer Dinwiddie was horrendous against the Orlando Magic. He went 0 for 11 from the court, including 0 for 6 from the three-point line. Dinwiddie did virtually nothing in this game. And then you had... Nick Claxton, who actually had a solid game defensively. Nine rebounds, nine assists, four for seven from the court, four block shots, one steal. He had two turnovers and one uh, personal foul. He had four, he was played in 28 minutes overall, and he went to the free throw line three times and made one. But Dinwiddie. I mean, uh, Claxton didn't have that offensive impact that he's had previously. And like I mentioned off the bench, no Royce O'Neal, no Seth Curry, no Edmund Sumner, no real help. The best players off the bench were Cam Thomas, who, like I mentioned, scored the second most points on the team with 18, and Daron Sharp, who had eight points and six rebounds. <clears throat> Otherwise that... Nobody else on this team really did anything. It was an absolute disastrous loss by the Nets. And the Magic? Magic just completely outplayed the Nets in every single aspect. Now their three-point shooting was not as good in the second half, but the team shot 53% from the court. 
They had 47 rebounds, 30 assists, 7 steals, 3 block shots. And they also had 11 turnovers, but that was 4 less than what the Nets did. The assist numbers is probably the biggest difference in this game besides the shooting on the court. The Nets just didn't come prepared for this game against the Magic. You could say they had tired legs. That could be part of it. You could say because they were missing key players out of the rotation. Like I mentioned, O'Neal, Curry, and um, some that were all out due to injury. <clears throat> but it's like this team didn't even show up yesterday. Their shooting was bad. Their defense was not great. They were letting guys drive to the basket without any issues. I mean, the Magic had seven, had eight players in double figures last night, led by Cole Anthony, who had 21. I mean, Jalen Suggs had 16. Maritz, Watt, Maritz Watt, Wagner had 12. His brother, Franz Wagner, had 19. Wendell Carter Jr. had 18. Paolo Bancharo had 11. Markel Fultz had 10. And Gary Harris had 10. Where was the defense? And this is a bad loss. It's a bad loss by the Nets. There's no explanation for it. You can't lose the Orlando Magic. No matter what their record is and no matter how much play, been play, better playing they've been doing. You can't lose this team. And now the Nets are 34 are 40 and 35. 5 games above 500. They have a game now. They have a couple of days off and they have a game on Wednesday against the Houston Rockets which starts a four game homestand. Houston, Atlanta, Utah, Minnesota. 3 and 1 is what I'm expecting. And I'm not even Getting off of that. Three and one. I'm not even... I'm not even expecting... Three, three and one. Not even two and two. Have to do that. Have to have that record. These are teams that are not good this year. So what the Nets need to do is they need to come out on Wednesday with a focused mindset, a couple of days rest, hopefully you get everybody back due to, from injury, and you come out there and you step your game up and you handle business against teams that are not good. <clears throat> Plain and simple. This was, this was a bad loss. And now the Nets have seven games left in the season. One left out on the road. They have one of their last seven games are on the road. I mean, this team couldn't shoot. This team couldn't defend. This team couldn't pass. This team looked like they, they forgot there was a basketball game last night. And now the Nets have got to try to regroup. And they've got to try to make sure they come out focused on Wednesday against Houston. Plain and simple. I mean, it's just, it's disappointing because of how well this team played against Miami the night before. Where it looked like everything was clicking with this team. Rebounding, passing, shooting, turnovers were lessened. Everything was going well for this basketball team, and it seems like it was a reverse of fortune in this game today against the, or like this game last night against the Magic. It seems like everything that the Nets did so well against the Heat, they did the exact opposite against the Magic. And that's why this team is in the predicament they're in right now. So let's see what the Nets are going to be able to do against the. Starting the, this next stretch, starting with the game that they're going to be playing against Houston on Wednesday. Then you got Atlanta on Friday, and you got Utah on Sunday. That's your next three games. All winnable games, all games they should be, should win. But we'll see. But that should be can game recap.
Disappointment, I know. Disappointment. Really made you feel good as a Nets fan against Miami, and they just smacked you right back in the face against uh, Orlando. Let's see how this team rebounds. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Give a sub to NYG Jeffy T85. More news updates and chatter surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And turn on the bell for notifications. Next video we're short dropping on the channel surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about last night's loss. Blowout loss because 13 points was not what the score actually was. And uh, let me know in the comment section what you thought about that uh, game last night. And... Just stay the Nets heading into a couple of days off before we get ready for the Brooklyn Nets and Houston Rockets on Wednesday night. And hopefully they come out with a little bit more spirit and they shoot and defend a lot better than they did this past game. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your Monday. Take it easy and let's go Brooklyn Nets. It's a Nets world and we all just living in it.